It's your girl Caprice and I'm back again with another video and today's video is going to be a collab. Today I am collabing with Ashley Savoy. I think that's how you pronounce her um, channel name. Ashley Savoy here on YouTube. She reached out to me wanted to do a collab with me and I'm just like yes girl I am all for the collab. So we decided to do a bold fall look. Not only is fall here, but you know those bold grungy looks are in right now. So this is my look that I created and I'm super obsessed with it as always as I am always obsessed with my tutorials. And yeah, um if you guys are subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below. And if you are new to this channel, thank you guys for clicking on this video. Join the C squad and if you're an oldie but a goodie, thank you guys for coming back and rocking with your girl once again you already know what's good with that um make sure you guys after you guys watch this video you guys head over to ashley's channel she's so talented she's so beautiful and she does hair tutorials and makeup tutorials so if you are not into much of the makeup she also does natural hair tutorials and her hair is just beautiful beautiful so i want to say thank you guys for watching and i will head on to the tutorial okay so first off you guys can see i already have one eye done because I did not know what I was going to be doing for this look. So let's go ahead and get started. And for my transition color, I'm going to be using the um, Saharan Palette 2 by Juvia's Place. I just got this the other day. And y'all, this palette is gorgeous. And it just screams a fall. Like, does this not scream fall? So I'm going to go in the color Taza. It's this like warm brown shade. I'm going to take this and I'm going to use that as my transition color. So after I got this, I'm gonna go ahead with the shade Bez and it's this brown shade right here. I'm going to also go ahead and put that in the crease um, right underneath that um, Tazza color. And I'm just going to use the Morphe 513 brush. And now to add a little bit more depth to that, I'm going to take the shade Zora, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous burgundy color. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right in that same spot and I'm just going to use the same brush. something like this and now I'm just gonna take my neither that palette doesn't have a bone color so I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I'm just gonna take the shade Foxy right here and I'm just gonna use that for my brow bone highlight It looks something like this. I'm going to, as you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease and I'm going to use just my tart shape tape as always and then like this little fat smudger brush and I'm just going to cut out my crease. something like this <clears throat> so then next I'm gonna go in 
to the um, subculture, I almost said modern renaissance, the subculture palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade New Wave right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just use this as my lid shade. So next I'm going to go back into that palette, the uh, subculture palette, and I'm going to take the shade Untamed right here, and I'm going to put that on the outer V area. And I'm just going to use the M433. ahead and do my lashes and my liner off camera um if you guys haven't know i do have a lash video down um up already so i will leave that down in the description box for you guys but i'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then i'll be back to start the face okay so we're gonna go ahead i think i'm just gonna speed through the process of me doing my face because you guys have seen me do that a million and one times so i'm gonna go in with my elf moisturizer and i'm gonna use this to moisturize my face and then i'm also gonna take my primer water from smashbox and prime I'm going to take my favorite at the moment, the L'Oreal Pro Girl in the shade 211 and then I'm going to take the Matte and Poreless from Maybelline in 355 and I'm going to mix these together. I've definitely, definitely been loving this concoction. Like, If you guys haven't seen my favorites video, check it out. I'll leave it down below and I'll talk about how bomb this concoction is. So I'm going to go ahead and just mix that up in the back of my hand and I'm just going to um, apply this all over my face. So next I'm going to go in with concealers and these are also something that I've been using a lot lately. These are the Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealers and I got it in the shade 20 Sable, Sand Sable in 30 Cafe and I'm just going to mix these together and put them under my eye and my chin and my nose and my forehead. And you basically just want to put these wherever the light catches you, where the light naturally catches you. So, and this is just gonna brighten up the face. And y'all know I like my face to be super bright. So, just gonna go in with this shade first. So, once I got this shade, I'm gonna take 20 uh, Sand Sable and just put a little bit, or a lot of bit, on top of that. Y'all know, y'all know how I do with my highlight. If you knew, now you know. <laughs> And I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and blend that out. And to set that, you already know, I'm going to use my, uh, not L'Oreal, my CoverGirl Medium Translucent. I'm going to set my face. I'm already, you guys already know, I'm going to take my CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer and I'm going to take it on this Real Techniques Buffing Brush and I'm just going to use that to, use this to bring a little life back into my skin. Okay, so we're looking real snatch right now. So now I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go in with my highlighter and I'm gonna take this Morphe 510 brush and I'm gonna go back to oldie but a goodie. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Glow Kit um, and Sun Dip Glow Kit and I'm gonna use the shades Bronze and Tourmaline. I'm gonna mix those together 
to create a little concoction. I'm just going to wet my brush just a little bit so it can be popping. So. Go ahead and go back to the eyes we're gonna go back to the eyes and I'm going to line my eyes with the Revlon color stay two-in-one angle jaw and this is in the shade evergreen and I'm just going to line my eyes it comes with like this pointed part at the end and then like this brush but I'm just gonna use this part and it comes and it just looks like this I'm just going to line my eyes with that And now for the lower lash line, I'm just going to go in with these three shades that I took in the crease. I'm just going to go in the order that I placed them at the top. I'm just going to place them at the bottom and smoke out that bottom lower lash line. I want this lash line to be super, super smoky. And then for mascara, I'm going to take the Lancome mascara, one that I've been loving for the longest. And I'm just going to apply this to my lashes, top and bottom. And then for my inner corner highlight, I am going to take this shade called... Aziza in the Saharan 2 palette. I'm going to take this and I'm going to use that for my inner corner highlight. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to set my face before I go to my lips. I'm going to use the uh, Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. I'm going to spray this. So for lips, I don't know which one. I picked up the liquid lipstick set by Anastasia Ever Be Ever Everly Hills. <laughs> Beverly Hills. And it comes with three mini like liquid lipsticks. I don't know which one I want to use. I'm thinking maybe this one. So the one I'm going to take is the liquid lipstick in the shade Bittersweet. And I'm going to use this uh, brown lip liner in the shade espresso from NYX and I'm going to use this to line my lip. And I am going to take a little bit of Hudson and just put it in the center to ombre it out a little bit. is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to go over to ashley's channel after you finish watching this one to view her makeup tutorial that we collabed on and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video